know hurricanes are a threat parts of the country face every year. They bring high winds, torrential rain, and many times millions of dollars in damages. With the Atlantic hurricane season just days away, today we got a first glance at what scientists say could be in store for us. Storm Team 10 meteorologist Chris Michaels joins us in studio with the highlights from this year's hurricane outlook. Chris? Yeah, so we've already seen one named storm so far this year. That was Andrea, which really just formed in one day and then petered out in the same day. Barry would be next, as would Chantel, and then Dorian, Aaron, Fernand, and Gabriel. That at least at least takes us through the letter G. But NOAA released their forecasts today. A few weeks ago, North Carolina State and Colorado State issued their forecasts. And the good thing is, for consistency's sake, is that each organization pretty much predicting a near average uh, season with regard to the total amount of systems. Nine to 15 named storms, four to eight hurricanes from NOAA, two to four major storms. It doesn't mean that every single one of those is going to make landfall in the U.S., but still something we'll obviously keep an eye on from June through November. One of the things we're looking at is the El Nino. We talk about this a lot in the winter. This is the warm ocean water off the coast of Peru that could actually create more storm systems in the southern U.S., which would actually suppress the amount of tropical activity. But at the same time, the ocean water very warm in the tropical Atlantic, and that's what hurricanes like to feed off of. Here this far inland, we experience a lot of flooding and mudslides. Every now and then we get tornadoes on the outer edge of these systems. That's why it's important that we bring this information to you right here on 10 News.